This was the scene at the Kito Magistrate Court this morning. Dozens of parents from Bulangiro compound wept uncontrollably as their children were being led to the courtroom. <laughs> the 13 youths, whose ages range from 13 to 18, were appearing for the first time in court after being arrested a few days ago. The juveniles are suspected to be members of the infamous 19 Niggers gang, which has terrorized Buchi and Bulangiro compounds. When the matter involving the 13 Wulangiro youths came up before Magistrate Leonard Dembo, the suspects gave their residential addresses and ages. But before the charge could be read to them, the magistrate noticed that there was no parent representing one of the juveniles. This forced Magistrate Dembo to adjourn the matter to Wednesday this week for plea. The suspects have been remanded pending their court appearance. The courtroom was fully packed with parents while others followed the proceedings through the windows. And as the suspects were being led back to the holding cell, their parents wept even more. <laughs> this forced police officers to swing into action. Some of the parents who became unruly were ejected from the court premises. The case involving the suspected members of the 90 niggers gang is just one of the many court cases involving suspected gang members appearing before the Kitwe Magistrate Court. Over the past few years, Kitwe has suffered lawlessness caused by gangs made up of teenagers who have taken over several residential areas, hacking people and stealing from them at night. Apart from the 90 niggers gang, it is believed that four other teenage gangs are operating in the mining town. These are sons of the devil or SOD gang which operates in Kwacha, Kapoto, Buchi, and Kamitondo townships, while in Deke area, another gang called Mbwambwambwa terrorized residents at night. The Tokota Boys is the most feared gang in Kitwe, and it operates in Mukuwa Natwange and Deke village, while in Chambori compound, another teenage gang called the Hundreds is causing havoc there. Poshalala, ZNBC News in Kitwe.